piling dirt around little metal benches. You leave a depression in front of you just about six, eight inches deeper than the rest of the terrain. When the water goes into it, you got a little poo. You plant all the way around the poo. You up over in a little dirt mound. That's how you hunt them in the ball open. This is the field. The tallest thing out there is about three foot. Every day we get up and we wonder, how can we get them today? Or what can we come up with one more time to slick them? We're trying to slick the wily mallard. Oh, he's a wily one. We've never quite tried this, tried this particular maneuver until now. It is looking good. I think it'll work. In till season, you try to find other ways to keep the hunt interesting if the till are not moving. Because our hole, we get them about three days out of a 16-day season. You know, till season, you either get them or you don't. And when you don't, I mean, that's two and a half hours of just sitting there swatting mosquitoes. We're doing things so that this doesn't become boring. Jason and Jay decided to do a little fishing this year, uh, which that was my first. I'd never seen them try to fish. Uh, they were convinced, of course, that these were big bass that were out there turning over. And they had to, Jay said, oh no, that's a big bass out there. I know what that is. We get our rod and reels, we go out there, and we're trying to figure out what's doing all the splashing. And lo and behold, here comes a bunch of ducks. The first bunch of teal of the year. If you're gonna try to amuse yourself while you're duck hunting, be prepared to be humbled. Because when you lose your focus, that's when the ducks will come and the next thing you know, everybody's ragging you. Boy, to say I wasn't ready for that is an understatement. <laughs> oh, they were right there. Should've killed them all easy. No. You know, it's hard to shoot teal when you got your rod and reel in there. <laughs> I guess you got to decide whether you're going to fish or where you're going to hunt. You can't really do both at the same time. After we got the bunch of ducks, we kept fishing, and the culprit... You got it? Yeah. Got it. Oh! Hold it. Hold it. Dog. Dog. We got a girl. Oh, man. Kill him. I was tearing these all pieces over here. Well, I made a hundred, I made a hundred yard shot, I know that. I picked up my other gun. One hundred yard. I did one, but I did, I did, two right I here. did splatter one right here. I don't even think it that left to him. Well, boys, I went three out of four. What can I say? Big body, big body, big body.
do it. Get on it. I was trying, but I didn't want to ring the ears. So I tried, but you see how tight my pattern was? One duck got away. He fell. Well, he fell. 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 Here you go. Go. I mean, what? Three. That was fun. Yeah. Well, I just happened to see them coming about a foot off the grass. <laughs> I, I was looking at every phone get up. Here. Here, Blue. He's Good dog. Good boy. He learned it. Right there. Hey, the camera going to show shot it. that one. Right okay, y'all missed. Y'all missed the boom when the three was right here. Mm. It, they, one died. Teal season came in September and uh, it was the same type teal season as we always had around this joint. Cy claiming most of the birds. Let's be real here. Cy in his old age, his shotgunning skills have diminished. Uh, and boy, he was in rare form this year. I mean, classic Cy. He's out there, he's chomping at the bits. Of course, he's doing his typical sigh. Claim every duck that shot on his end. I don't know about you boys, but I was three for three on that bunch. Sigh's the only man I know that one tail can come in and he'll kill all three of them. Hey, the ones I don't kill, Phil kills a few. Okay, so hey, everything that's been killed Either I killed it or Phil killed it. These other boys, hey, they get what the little boy shot at, okay? But it ain't much, okay? Maybe a feather every now and then. Then the duck crippled off over here to the right, and then it was boom, he, he wasn't and he was it. falling, okay? Y'all missed the boom that made him fall. No. Too many booms, sir. No. No, hey, I'll bet you money you'll see you'll see a big splash of water. See your decoy stream? Yeah. You'll see a, a big splash of water right when that duck's going that way. Yeah. It's right under him, and then he falls. 
Here's Si's problem when it comes to making a bet. No one ever really knows what the bet is. Look, Jason's got a problem, okay? It's called common sense, okay? Okay. What does that mean? What does that have to do with anything we're talking about? Hey, right, wake up and smell the roses. Get you an open board. <laughs> you want about a hundred dollars on it? Cause oh. I got a hundred in my pocket. <laughs> okay, I got one hondo that the camera shows it, buddy. You want some of it? <laughs> okay. One hondo in size language is a crisp hundred dollar bill. He used to bet five dollars, but now he done got up to a hondo. I'm still in the $5 betting range myself. Size back and forth and are hollering, going crazy. And you know, used to bet like five, ten dollars, you know. I guarantee I bet you five dollars that I kill that duck. Well now that he's a rich guy, you know, because he's a famous TV star, it's a hondo. You know, it's he starts at a hundred dollars. And then it'll even go to a thousand if you don't watch it. I ain't talking about the movie star where John Wayne starred as a hondo. Okay, the Indian fighter. The Honda I'm talking about is a crisp $100 bill. <laughs> you want to talk that smack? I got a crisp $100 bill <laughs> on it right now. <laughs> you want the bet? No, I'll pull the stranger. No, you want the bet? I got a hundred bucks that I put on mine right now. <laughs> hey. If you don't blow up right in front of them decoys, you give me the hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, because I got a hundred for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I will bet you a hundred dollars that you see water splash up after somebody shoots. Hey, let's bet. I don't even know what the bet is. Uh, hey. What, what is the bet? I told you what the bet is. I pulled the trigger. I'm about water kicking out in front of the decor. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and then the teal falls. <laughs> I don't know what's that. Okay. okay. The bet is water was kicking out in front of the decor. <laughs> and then the teal falls. Because, hey, everybody knows who killed the three ducks. That'd be old Silas Merrick, the Vietnam veteran. <laughs> That's what happened. Hey. What do you mean you ain't sure what happened? I'm sure that's probably what happened. Oh, I, I guarantee you that's what happened. Because <laughs> I'm the one that killed him. comes that old drake from behind us, he's still coming. What do you think? Kill him. Kill him. We got the decoys right now. Alright, get ready. 
cœur. Là. Oh, you'd have never got it. It had been. Oh, yeah, honey. You had had it. Mm -hmm. 
Coming down the lane, coming toward it. It's a big bunch. Yeah, right down. Mm -hmm. so, I think uh, I think there's something to these hand painted. Hand painted people. I'm gonna get. I tell you what, I think old old Cooper. That's why I told him I got a man for this kind of decoy. If he can go, you know what I'm saying? He don't talk the ears off, and he carves a good decoy. You got to take him with you. You got a funny look about him, but hey, <laughs> he's an artist. Uh, what's the name of it? Uh, These two, Me too. they were in the decoy. I know it. I know they didn't get shot. I'm sitting there and jerking all the over. I'm jerking the shell out of here. my last shot. No idea. We all shot that last one. But I was late. I didn't kill it. I mean, he exploded right when I pulled the trigger. But I'm saying, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because evidently everybody was shooting. I was out of the news. They just started coming up in front of you. Yeah, I don't need to make sure that. Thirty minutes and then it's over. Is that right? Yeah. What did you say it's gonna be in the morning? In the morning it's gonna be twenty nine.
15 to 20 out of the north, northwest. I said, well, we want to worry about a jerk chain. I was going with the doggone weather report, but that's... And women are too good looking to know that much about weather, them fine chicks on the web channel. You know they don't know that much about weather. You can't look like that and know that much about weather, can you? Like that. Good night. They might have seen us. That was a Saskatchewan chucklehead there. Yeah. Yeah. The last thing you want to do is mess with what we got going on here. We done killed 20 bucks in 30 minutes. This bad crowd is kind of hot as hell in the country. If he saw what we were doing here, he would be stunned. No wind. Right there, right there. Well, let's give him a chance this time. They may do it. Been a little, right been a little clean, toss yeah. up on, but it seems like to me every time we get in this thing, we burn them. Yeah, we can't really complain. Yeah. We, I'm telling that, you, we kill more here. I like to look at it, but I mean, like, we need to put some brush on the back of this yeah. thing. But yeah, they don't act like the they're flaring off of it. <laughs> Paranoia sets in pretty quick. We'll be getting them. Everything's right. They'll be working good. You know, everybody's happy. And then one bunch of flare off. Well, then it's not enough brush. So we gotta put face paint in the beard, you know, they say he flared off the beard. They flared off the cameraman, you know, shine on the lens. Cameraman moved, uh, the dog's tail's wagging too much, bumping the blind. Paranoia in the duck blind means let's pile a bunch of brush over the top of the middle of the duck blind where the men in the middle can't even shoot, really. Some members of the blind will start to grumble and they'll start they'll start being negative about either how we're approaching the ducks or which blind we're hunting and it usually happens from the guys in the middle of the blind the end spots are pretty good 
That's the place to be. You know, in the corners, you get the best shots. You get the first shots. Because the middle of the blind is just brushed up like nobody's business. So the men in the middle are not playing the ducks, even though we have been accused multiple times of that happening. But I'm 5'7", and them boys are 6'4", 6'2". So when they brush the blind, and then I get up there, I'm like, you know, Mr. Wilson on that on that show, you know. I got three volleys to shoot my way out of there before I even got a clear shot. If you would notice, we have Stone, Godwin, Al, and Cy are completely covered with brush. They're not seeing them, but on the ends of the duck blind, you have Jace and Phil. Well, when you go down on either end, they, they, they got a little room there for some reason. I don't get it. The guys in the middle start grumbling. And they start saying, yeah, but, but if I was on the end of the blind, you know, things would be different. Or I'm not getting to shoot. Or there's too much brush in front of me. And so what we do is we say, look, if you want to shoot some ducks and do it yourself, you're welcome to leave at any time. You don't have to come down here and get into the middle of the blind and be a, a gunner. And so a lot of our guys who are in the middle of the blind, they'll go other places to hunt so they can blow off some steam, which I think is ridiculous. Yeah, they named him correctly, Slick Jakes. He'll slick you in a heartbeat if you don't watch him. Hey, but look, the boy is negative. Okay, you know, man is G. Crab, John, I probably don't remember him. That's 60 television, okay? You know, that's who Jace reminds me of, man G. Krebs. He was a negative guy, too. He was a hippie. Get up that damn flu right over the decoy. We traded Godwin and Stone for our cousins, the Hobbs boys. Because what happens is these boys that can't shoot very well, they have to move to where there's a lot of ducks. We get accused of leaving Louisiana because, you know, only real men can kill them down here. You know, we got to go up there. We get accused of having to shoot them at 10 yards to kill them. But who don't want to shoot mallards at 10 yards? So they went north to Arkansas. You don't have to be a great shot if you got ducks just piling in on you. So we sent them up there to run them off. And uh, we're left with the just the old wily veterans killers. I think what it falls down to, yeah, somebody didn't get invited. And somebody did.
Just put me in the hole. I can't hold them all. I just, I just can't hold them all. Hey, last one. Hold on. Keep that right. He just started all over. What did you say about the tail? Well, the problem was me and Jay showed up and there was nothing here, so I thought, hmm. But then they started bombing in. There's two little holes, though there's no ice. Well, we made sure we waited for y'all. Yep. Yeah, we did kill one mile of Drake. We what now? Would you have waited for us? No. 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 I, I'd have done shot my gun. I'm talking about, hey, I had four boxes of shells in there. I just went ahead and whacked this back. I don't get no I don't get no chance at no green wing teal anymore, boys. And I gotta go in here now that you talking about deadly on teal. Okay. This little light thing I've got. You boys see the shotgun right here. You know, if it was legal, right, with the shot I am, I'd use a twenty two. Okay, but it ain't legal. So look, I, instead of the big heavy twelve gauge. I went ahead and told them, bring me a little light 20 gauge. All right, and look, it's all you need. Yeah, that is, if you can shoot. He basically is there just for laughs. But he claims all the ducks, we know it, so we just say, yeah, you got them again. He gets so excited that we, when he gets his gun shoulder and pulls the trigger, he gets his beard in between his shoulder and the gun. So when he shoots, his head is taking a hard right. You know this because when you look at Sai's beard, it's way shorter on the right side than it is the left side. How does he even know what's happening after he shoots? He is a habitual duck claimer. The glass is about that thick, claims all the ducks, loads up his gun. He said, all I know is, when I empty my gun, a lot of ducks fall. Now, I, I usually hunt next to Si, and so it doesn't matter whether I know I killed him or not. There's no sense in claiming it, because Si's already going to claim it. Get off. Be still, be still, be still, be still. Was the fifth thing I had two shells left in my gun. The only duck well, that came out, I killed shooting. them. Well, right yeah, I they shot one time. They didn't see. They was right there. I had one <laughs> shot and I killed him. Yeah. I got two more shells in my gun. Everybody shoots good when you raise up and shoot with about six other men. He forgets about the three men on his right and three on his left. The only way he doesn't kill anything is if he doesn't shoot. 
And even then, he may claim that he just stared it down. I don't know. He really believes whatever it is he believes. <laughs> Sounds like a good woman. You can't hunt with him, and you can't hunt without him. I'm going to tell you this, every human being that tastes a grilled teal, their perspective on them totally changes. It drives them insane. You know, Make sure it's a green one. Even women. Look, I mean, look at Si. Si's a victim of 50 years of green wing teal consumption. That's right. It drove him crazy. Like. Yeah. That's right. yeah. <laughs> That's all he thinks about. <laughs> I mean, look, size in there asleep. Jay called, told Christine, hey, Till are on the hall. Yeah, but hey, how long did it take me to get out here? About 12 minutes. Shh, right there, big boy. Cut that thing, cut him, shoot him, shoot that, shoot that. He's dead. Right, let's call the rep, let's pick up the duck. Good, huh?
get you one of these moth birds. You got, I think you can kill one more. <laughs> so if you elect me president, I will break that up. That's first number one on the agenda. Break up the sanctuary system. Get all the money we send to the Middle East, send it to Canada. Start whacking and stacking varmints that eat ducks. I'd rather we eat them than they eat them. So that's the first thing we do. I got to find a good duck hunter to be the head of the Department of Interior. If he's not a duck hunter, you don't get the job, Jack. Sit down and shut up. Do you duck hunt? No. You don't get the job at the Department of Interior. You have to be a duck hunter and you have to hunt at least half the season or you're not going to be in this job. So that's where we'd start. Less sanctuaries, more freedom on duck hunters' part, and a lot less rules and regulations. After we do that, then we'll straighten out the country. Get the ducks lined up first. Then we start in with this wicked country we live in and work on it for a while. Bibles and shotguns and duck calls, that's what you'll have in the White House if you get me in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> From the largest farms to the smallest farms are way down here on the riverbank, remote camps. Delta Fuel, contact them, they'll keep you running. You boys wonder why I shoot cotton mouse. I want you to take a look at that dog's chest right there. Hey, that's what a cotton mouse does and that's been three weeks ago. Look at this. See his nose right here? See that color pigment going out of that? Look at that. Got a bit on the head and on the chest right there. That's what it does to a dog. Can you imagine what it'd do to a man? That's why I put a 22 bullet in them. Them things are dangerous. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Old Skip Kuvial works for Duck Commander these days. And this is some of his work. He hand carves. He and his wife paint these for us. And we hunt over them. And I put my name on the bottom of them to authenticate that. For whatever that's worth. But I think he does a tremendous job. Look at that. They're mighty lifelike. There's an art to that. 
and it's way beyond my area of expertise. But I mean, that's about as close as you get to mallards. He does different kind of ducks, wood ducks, mallards, ringnecks, pintails. Check him out. He's good, real good.